Hey, you guys. Thanks so much for clicking on my channel. We're all smiles over here. I am Will Sanja. It's like asking a question. Will Sanja help you keep a smile for today? And hopefully the answer is yes, you guys. I'm going to try not to keep it long, but y'all already know. If it gets good, I'm going to keep on talking. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The golden nugget today is wave goodbye. I almost want to call it bye, Felicia. Why? Because God is saying on today that that was bothering you, that trial, tribulation, that that you were seeing with your physical eyes, that that you were hearing with your physical ears, those false little feelings. God is saying, wave goodbye because you're not going to see it anymore. How do I know he is saying this to you and to me? Because in Exodus chapter 14, verse 13, it says this. Listen carefully. It says this. And Moses said unto the people, fear ye not. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. Listen, God said, fear not. Ain't no need to worrying about what you're seeing with your physical eyes. Ain't no need to worrying about what you just heard with your physical ears. Ain't no need to worrying and paying attention to those falsehood of feelings of sadness and doubt and, and fear and all this other kind of crazy stuff. God said, uh-uh, 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 I got you. So he said, fear not. Fear not. Fear not. He says, I am your and I am your light and your salvation. Whom shall you fear? I am the strength of your life, and who shall you be what? Afraid. Fear not. Then God says it's stand still. How do you know if you're standing still or not? You stand still when you're not leaning to your own understanding and when you're not leaning to somebody else's advice. God says, lean not to your own understanding, but in all of your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. So when you're standing still, that means you aren't doing anything. You're not trying to figure it out. You're not asking your mama, your daddy, your brother, your sister, your cousins and whatnot and whatnot, your neighbor for advice on how to fix this thing for you. God says, stand still. Because when you try to do it, that's you going all over the place. That's you being on a shaky ground. You got to stand still on his word. Keep your feet planted in his truth then when you do that God says well then see the salvation in other words watch me deliver you God said with his knowledge he will deliver the just what knowledge God said his eyes are in every place beholding the evil and the good and he preserves the knowledge and not only that that knowledge that he has he said that he will overthrow the words of the transgression God knows how to deliver you he will deliver you out of the snare of the fowler he knows how to get you out he said, in a time of trouble, he shall hide you in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide you. So God said, ain't no need of you worrying. Ain't no need of you being fearful. Ain't no need of you being scatterbrained over there, going from here to there and the other, trying to get advice. He said, stand yourself still. He got you. That's what he said in Deuteronomy 31 and 8. He said, I will go before you. I will be with you. I will not fail you. I will not forsake you. Do not fear. That is again, do not fear and do not be dismayed. God got you. He does. That's why he wants you to wear. Be confident. Drop the fear and be confident. How can you be confident? God says, well, in this I am confident that when I ask according to his will, according to God's word that I'm standing on, that he hears me. And God said, when he hears you, he does what? He heals your land. Because he said, what? If my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and seek my face, turn from your wicked ways. He says, then I will heal from heaven. Forgive you of your sin. And then I'm going to heal your land. I'm going to deliver you. Y'all get it, got it good. So go on, start to wave. Start waving. Stand in your confidence. Be bold as a lion, like God said the righteous are. Be bold as a lion. Stand in the confidence of God's word. He is your confidence. He is your countenance and your confidence. You are strong as a lion. Trust God in what he's told you. And watch him deliver you out of it all. He will deliver you out of it all. You have the victory. You do. Just like God told Moses to tell the people that on today, you will not see these people who held you in bondage ever again. Ever.
cover again. I'm going to read it one more time so, you, so you'll know. This is coming from Exodus 14 to 13. It says, And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians, that that held you bondage, that that had you anxious, that that held you hostage in sickness, that that held you hostage in despair, all of that, he said, the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. No more forever. No more forever. That that kept you awake at night, that demonic flashback that keeps coming back to you about what somebody did to you or how somebody cheated on you or how somebody treated you bad or how you were treated when you were a kid, that demonic flashback, God says, well, wave goodbye to it. He says, say bye, Felicia. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile, hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more. No more, no more, no more. Because God said you will not see them again. No more forever. Receive it. Receive it, y'all. Believe it. You're walking into victory now. He says, see the salvation of, of him, of the Lord. See the salvation. But first, do not fear. And do not fear means what? Don't be anxious. Which means that don't be nervous about anything. God says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything through what? Prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your petition be made known. And your petition is that you receive your breakthrough right now. You receive your freedom right now. And in receiving this freedom of never seeing what bounded you ever again, walk into your new territory. Walk into your expansion. Walk into your enlargement. Let God burst you at the scene. Receive it. You've been waiting a while. And now it's here. God says, fear not. Stand still and see his salvation. Let it deliver you into your promised land. Y'all get it, got it good. I hope so, but if you didn't, Rewind this thing and watch again. But in the meantime, in between time, if you take just a little bit of what I'm telling you and apply to your life to the best of your ability, you won't ever, 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 ever have to mess a smile. Because it'll always be genuine. Y'all be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed. Welcome to your promised land. Y'all know what's coming next. Ciao.